Okay, so to bake this, uh, the entire material into one uh, shader or into one map, uh, we're going to have three maps. We're going to have the color map, and we're going to have uh, the the node uh, this bump map, and then the roughness, and maybe this emission map uh, for for the rooms that have uh, these lights so that have lights on. So for that, let's go to let's select. Uh, these two meshes we need to have a uv a uv map for all the meshes uh, so that everything is not intersecting uh, so for this i'm going to select this object uh, then create a new uv i'll call this general uv general uvs and uh, also make another uv for this call this general uvs 2. now can select everything then unwrap okay we have messed up everything uh, but uh, we need to go back to this building and uh, make sure that uh, uh, this uh, concrete text this uh, window texture is not using is only using uh, these the first UVs instead of the other second UVs because you can see if we change back to this uh, this is using the correct UV so we need to go back to the shading and uh, so make sure the concrete texture for this is using wherever we see if a texture is not using UVs is not use is, is not connected to a co coordinate mapping it means that uh, it will use the default UVs to use when unwrapping. So uh, let's uh, find uh, the texture we're using. So this material texture. So we need to specify what UV map this uh, these materials should, should use. So I'll just go to uh, add input UV map. And uh, the UV map we want is the first UVs uh, we have. So, so it's called UV map. Connect this to that. also connect this to that connect this to that make sure there is no other object or any other texture so now if we change between these uvs you can see our concrete uh, still continues to use uh, this uh, this uv map the first uv map so it's just as uh, the the lights uh, that are changing so we need to add the same uh, UV input UV map select the UV we want to use uh, now when we change between the materials you see there is no change sorry when we change between uh, the UVs there is no change uh, only uh, these lights here sorry these are uh, these uh, uh, this window here that don't have lights on uh, the ones that changing that are changing the uv so we need to go back to those and also give them an input uv map connect this make sure it's using uh, the first one so now when we change between the different uvs uh, there shouldn't be any changes i think there might be changes for this some there is no there is none so make sure also the concrete building okay so we are good now what we can do is um is what can we do i uh, want to bake uh, this into a single object so we can select everything go back to textures and uh, let's unwrap again Make sure you have general UV selected uh, for every object. Unwrap. That shouldn't change anything in our viewport, but I think we can use better UVs by uh, using smart UV projection. And uh, increase uh, the island margin uh, because we're going to be baking and we need some sp separation between uh, the different objects. Okay, 
so you can see what we have uh, our object our um, this building has a lot of uh, polygons uh, that we can reduce if you're using uh, the object for for a game asset uh, you might want to reduce to optimize the building a bit a bit farther than uh, what I've already done but uh, yep let's go with what we have right now Let me do this. Let me try this. Let me first unwrap this. We get this. <coughs> what about if I try to remove doubles? Does that reduce anything? I think the text is too small. Uh, I think we're going to have a few issues here. And I'm not seeing the margin being added. <coughs> okay, you can see that uh, now there is some separation between the different islands. So I also need to come to this object and uh, use smart UV unwrap. I think we should do this. I think I also need to add to close this off. And I start for good. Thing, then smart UV unwrap. And now we can start baking. Uh, so, the unfortunately, Blender EV as for now doesn't. Uh, have an, a bake option. So we need to use cycles uh, for this. So I'll change to cycles and uh, I'll select, also make sure you join uh, this. Uh, the problem that I saw that uh, this, when I join this to this, it messes up uh, the uses. I think it's okay. So we can add a new, to bake, you need uh, an image uh, to bake to. So I'll add a texture, image texture, and I'll call this, I'll start with roughness because that uh, that is the fastest uh, map to render, uh, to bake using cycles, so I'll just start with that, and uh, then go to, to bake, and uh, select roughness, uh, we can go to UVs, uh, select uh, the roughness map, rough, roughness map, and uh, hit bake. So we go to bake and uh, hit bake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the roughness. the roughness map we have. I think we have a lot of issues because, do we? Yeah, we do have a lot of issues here. Yeah, so the problem is that uh, we have a lot of vertices that are too close to each other. So I should have optimized
optimized this so that we don't have a lot of vertices and uh, to make these uh, these uh, polygons too close to each other uh, that uh, they cause issues in the bake. So I guess I'll do that next time, but uh, for now, uh, that's how you bake and uh, that's how you make a, a high-rise building in Blender. Thank you.